Hey everybody, I'm breaking outside of my training plan today. I was only supposed to do about 40 minutes. However, I do have a half marathon coming up this next uh, weekend. So, given the leg injuries I've had and now my leg's feeling much better, um, I have not really been able to um, properly train for this half marathon. So, I'm going to go out there and do 10 miles today. This is the longest uh, I will have done this year so far. Uh, but if I can hold 10 miles with no injury at a decent pace, I'll be able to hold 13.1 next weekend. So uh, this will be a, be a very interesting run today. It's beautiful weather here in South Florida. It's 70 degrees. It's about 5 o'clock p.m. So I'm going to see a beautiful sunset out over the Everglades on my way out. Um, should be a gorgeous day. Anyways, I'll let you, uh, let you know how it ends up when I finish my run. And hopefully it's, it's good news. See you in a bit. So, I'm halfway, I'm just taking a quick breather. Um, my IT band syndrome hasn't really showed its face yet. Uh, it's kinda, it feels like it kinda wants to pop out, but um, I'm having more of a hard time keeping my cardio low. Uh, I seem to be struggling a little bit, and I'm only at five miles. I did wanna pause since I'm halfway through and show you the sunset I was talking about. We have absolutely beautiful sunsets here in Florida, and this is no exception. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, before I cool down too much, I just <laughs> better get back out to it. I just wanted to pause and uh, tell you my progress here so far. But so far, so good. Um, five more miles to go and I'm home. So I just got back. Um, ended up doing about 10 and a half miles, 10.4 miles. I was able to average a 750 pace, which it's better than expected. I was going out there today hoping to hold an eight minute pace. Um, but I gotta be honest with you, it's tough. I haven't done 10 miles in a while. So just getting through next weekend's race is gonna be a challenge for me. Um, it's interesting, I've never gone in a, into a race uh, just trying to finish it as my goal. Um, of course, I'm being the competitive person I am, I'm always trying to be uh, top of the age group. But that's not gonna happen next week and I have to go into there with that mentality, otherwise I'll have a disappointing day. Um, about mile nine and a half, my IT band kicked in and uh, I was having some problems, but you know what, I sped up my pace, everything went away after that, but it was so painful that I actually expressed out loud, ouch, I mean, that's how bad it hurt. Um, let me show you what I did differently to my leg today. I don't know if anybody out there is suffering this, this might make a difference. Um, I found this, this IT band compression strap online. You can actually find it probably in your local running store as well. Um, it just tapes above, about three inches above the knee. It's got a little gel pack, um, a little pressure point um, that ends up getting Velcroed into place and it kind of stabilizes your IT band, which is good. Um, so it doesn't move around across your knee that much. Another thing I did is I did a new configuration with my uh, KT tape. I put a strip across here and then I took a, a strip and made the Y out of it and uh, did a loop around there and a loop around there once again to stabilize the, uh, the IT band a little bit more. And you can find this technique and what strength and how to stretch it uh, on the KT Tape website. Um, seemed to have helped between that and my deep um, tissue massage roller, my foam roller, and some new IT band stretches. Everything seems to be under control. This will, next weekend will be the longest race I have to do of the year. So if I can get through that mentally, I'll be good for Alcatraz, which is eight miles. And the rest of my races this year are all sprints, which I've got no problem with. I'm not worried about that at all. So anyways, uh, next week starts my Escape from Alcatraz training plan, which I'm very excited about. So we're going to start that on like a diary process uh, where every day I'll, I'll tell you what, I've been, what I'm doing, how many days left, etc. And uh, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so I probably won't speak at you tomorrow. I'm taking the day off and uh, spend the time with the wife. And so happy Valentine's Day, everybody.